Hi everybody. Enjoy the birds chirping outside my window, and welcome back to One Shot. Hey, Cadenza? I guess you saw my dream? Yeah. It was... Come on, let's go. Best not to think about that too much. Uh, so welcome back to One Shot. Last time we explored the lower level of the refuge jumped through a whole ton of hoops to uh, get a library ID card so that we could access the back of the library and meet George, the head librarian, who offered to help us translate the journal that is not in our inventory because we gave it to her. We uh, took a nap to give her time to do that, so hopefully she'll have something for us. I've done it! I have finished the daunting task of translating this journal! Oh, that was fast. But of course, I am the speediest translator in recent history. Anyway, I made you a line-by-line -line transcript. It looks like this journal might be meant for Cadenza. Oh? Here, take a look yourself. Greetings, Cadenza. If you can finally read this, that means you are near the tower. The tower is the domain of an elusive entity. This being is connected to the world. For now, you can think of it as the spirit of the world. It has no physical form, but it can communicate through computers and other machinery, and is apparently quite sassy. You know who I am talking about, of course. When you first arrived here with our savior, it no doubt contacted you right away. Through its own means, the entity will guide the both of you to the tower. The entry room is at the tower's base. Not only do you need the sun there, but also three pieces of the previous sun. The savior will not be able to do anything there. You, Cadenza, on the other hand. Look at the pattern on the floor. Do as it says. The window will be gone, so you need to bring it back. There, that's the last of it. The rest of the pages are torn out. You didn't do this, did you? No! A shame. I was wondering what window was supposed to mean. Ah, well, I guess Cadenza will have to figure out that one. Right. By the way, what does it mean by three pieces of the previous sun? I only have this sun. Aha. That is a question George can answer. It means you need items containing yellow phosphor, the rarest of the phosphors. It's said to absorb sunlight for the longest time and never fade out. Oh! I do have a piece of amber and a feather. They're both glowing yellow. But alas, you are missing the third, no? Fear not, for George, collector of rare artifacts, will assist you. Here. Shiny. Oh. It looks... like you? Yes. Now you'll never forget my face. Oh, the face of knowledge. Ah, thank you. Good luck on your journey, small child. George shall bid you farewell now. A die with glowing dots. Oh, do you need George to tell you what to do again? Yes, please. According to the journal, you must go to the small room at the base of the tower while having three pieces of the previous sun in your possession. With those three items at hand, you must stand in the room, and Kenenzo will do something about floor patterns and windows. Alright. Thank you. Good luck on your journey, small child. George shall bid you farewell now. See you later, George. Thanks for all the help.
<laughs> hey, Cadenza? Do you remember where the cafe is? Uh-huh, it's on the upper levels. Oh, good. I'm asking because... Well... I'm... A little hungry. Actually, I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten anything since I got here. So... Is it okay if we go get some food before we enter the tower? I hope they have pancakes. That sounds like a capital idea to me. We'll just take the elevator back up. And be there shortly. is just a hop, skip, and a fast travel away. Hey, cafe owner. I hope you have pancakes. Oh, hey, you're back. Did you manage to fix the elevator? Mm-hmm. Kenenza and I went to the surface already. And... Mm -mm. Well, I remember there being a cafe here. Do you have pancakes? We sure do. Wait, I don't have any money. Maybe I can help you wash dishes, or... something? No, no, it's on the house. The least I can do for the savior, right? Here, why don't you take a seat? I'll go fry some up for you. Pancakes. These pancakes are so good. Thank you so much! No problem. You looked really hungry. Yeah. I thought this would be my last chance to eat something before I go in the tower. Ah, gotcha. So, I guess pancakes are your favorite food? Mm-hmm. Well, almost. My favorite food in the world are the special pancakes that my mama makes. She likes to pick hazelnuts and grind them up into the batter. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. They taste amazing. She always made them when I was feeling sad. Or lonely. Or... Mama, I really miss her. I, I just... I just have a bad feeling all of a sudden. Am I even here to save the world? People have been saying how the sun won't fix anything. I don't even know why I'm here. I just want to see my mama again. Oh, uh... They're there. It's gonna be okay. And I'm sure you'll be able to save the world. You're a tough kid. You managed to get this far already, right? Yeah. <laughs> but... And you'll get to go home afterwards, right? Right. Hey, want some more pancakes? <laughs> it's okay. I'll be fine. So... Yeah. Thanks for coming by. Mm-hmm. Thanks for listening. And for the pancakes. No problem. Good luck. Hang in there. You can do it. Thanks. Poor Nico. This is an awful lot. It's an awfully big burden to place on a child. At least we're here to help her out, right? Her. I didn't mean to say that. I meant them. It's just I'm 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 using I'm using my particular tone of voice that makes me automatically default to female pronouns for whatever reason. I promise I didn't mean it. I know Nico doesn't like have a confirmed gender. Like, literally, whenever people ask the developers, they're just like, Nico is a cat! Or, <laughs> Nico is neither a boy nor a girl, or, you know, similarly cheeky answers like that. Uh... Right, gotta remember where to find the tower from here. Can't fast travel to it directly, so... There's the door to it. Okay. 
I just need to find the path down. And I don't think we have anything else to do, so let's just go. reason we've been on this journey in the first place. So. I think we know what to do here. Now we just gotta bring the window back up. Is this the inside of the tower? It's a lot darker than I thought. Wait, where's the sun? Cadenza, do you know what happened to the sun? Cadenza? Cadenza? Come on, Cadenza. Say something. Cadenza! What's going on? Congratulations. You are now inside the tower. Are you talking to me now? Correct. But you were always talking to Cadenza before. Where's... Cadenza has already left. I had to resort to contacting you directly. Wait, so... Cadenza is gone? Just like that? Correct. For good? Correct. Cadenza has already finished their mission. And so have you, Nico. Here, you can rest now. Everything that's happened here is like a bad dream. When you wake up, you will be home. Oh! But... What's wrong? I thought there'd be more to it, you know? I thought... We were supposed to go to the top of the tower. I thought there was supposed to be somewhere we need to put the sun in. And now... I don't even have the sun anymore. And Cadenza is just... gone. This feels wrong! But you did good. You saved the world, Nico. Are you not happy? I guess I am. But... It's just... even got to say goodbye to Cadenza. And as for you, Cadenza, we're done here. Please don't return to this world anymore. This is... problematic. Indeed, if we try to open the game back up... Now 
And if we press any button, the game just closes again. But you'll notice the background, my desktop changed when I opened it up, which I think is important. This is not over. Regardless of what the entity told you, there is more to the story. Look for this symbol. Once it is active, please relaunch the game. See you soon. Oh, this is just the readme. <laughs> Let me just, uh... Now we need to relaunch. Nico. Cadenza? Was that you just now? I thought I heard your voice in my dream. Ah, uh, guess you're still not there. Wait, there's something in my pocket. I don't remember putting it there. A black clover. You're still here. Nico, why are you still here? You! Why did you come back, Cadenza? I told you to stay away! You knew I tried to cut the story short, is that it? You want more out of me, is that it? Fine! If you don't want to leave, I'll make sure you never do. And now we have to align the clover to the journal pieces. Back then, I told you about the entity as little as possible. Apologies for that. I did not want to put the librarian in danger. This being has a habit of silencing the people who learn of its true nature. Regrettably, I have seen it happen to dear friends. Ah, uh, but do not worry. The entity cannot touch you. Nor can it do anything to me. I already left the world on my own terms. I never meant for the entity to exist. But now that it is fully sentient, one thing became clear. The entity seeks death. Death to itself, 
death to the world, a relentless desire that manifested physically. You have already seen the scars. Right now, the entity is doing everything it can to impede your progress, stalling for even a few minutes. Before you inevitably bring the sun to the tower's summit. That is where you, God, will make the final judgment for the world. Of course, the Entity will contact you again there. And when it does, it will trick you into shattering the sun. This will end the world instantly. Sorry, I do not know what to do in a situation like this. But I think I have to tell you the truth. The sun is the Messiah's tie to the world. As long as the sun is intact, the messiah remains trapped here. the thing, right? Oh no, <laughs> this is bad. I'm ruining an emotional moment. I see what I did now. Sorry about the the awkward silence. That's the puzzle. I went too far. Back to the story. Shattering the sun may terminate this world, but It 
is also the only way for the Messiah to return home. Let's see here. Carefully here. Uh, all right, this is going to be annoying. Okay, back on track. And then match this. And then we need to do another smaller ring in the center. things could end up like this. Please forgive me. It's the light bulb. Thank goodness it's safe. I guess Kittens isn't coming back. Nico, I'm here. Cadenza? Yes. Is that... really you? I thought... you were gone. I never left you. Oh, I was... feeling a bit scared back there. I thought I was completely alone. But well, that was silly of me to assume, wasn't it? Ah, guess we need to figure out where to go now, and... The sun! It lit up on its own! Guess I should pick it up. Right, Cadenza? ourselves still in the tower and yet somewhere familiar all the same. What do you know? The wood is neatly stacked in the fireplace. good on TV. It's a sink. There's nothing in the fridge. Ad finitum. I wonder where that light is coming from. Is not interested in napping. Uh, <laughs> that uh, that glitch is still there. That's unfortunate. Even in windowed mode, it's a little tree. It's a mirror. Just a toilet. It's a metal bathtub. Very astute observations, Nico. 
I'm just kidding. They've been through a lot. So you actually made it here. I guess you win, Cadenza. I'll tell you how to save the world then. When you reach the summit, shatter the light bulb and... I'm just humoring you. I know you've been getting help from a certain someone. He already told you about the choice, didn't he? Are you still planning to save the world, Cadenza? Why are you trying so hard for this? Haven't you even figured out what this world is? I told you at the beginning, your mission is to help Nico leave. Because Nico isn't part of this world. Nico is the only thing worth saving here. The final choice is up to you. I can't go against my programming. You only have one shot, Cadenza. If you choose to smash the light bulb, then Nico wakes up back home like it was all a dream. But if you let Nico return the sun, the child will have to bear the weight of this sacrifice. At least tell Nico the truth. You do care about Nico, don't you? Sure is taking a while. I guess this elevator leads to the top of the tower, Cadenza. Are you excited, Cadenza? We're finally gonna save the world. And I know it's for real this time, because you're here. And then... I'll get to go home for real this time, too. I can't wait to see everyone again. Are you okay, Cadenza? You seem a little quiet. Nico. Yeah? I need to tell you something. I'm listening. We can't save both. Hmm? The worlds. And you. What's that supposed to mean, Cadenza? To send you home, we must break the light bulb. What? But won't that... But won't that end the world? Yeah. I don't want that to happen. So, what happens when we save the world? What happens to me? I don't know. You... don't? Music should sound familiar to you if you go back and watch the beginning of the first video. So this is where the sun belongs. If I put the sun in here, let me try that again. If I put the sun in here, we'll be able to save the world, right? But if I want to go home, I'll have to break it. Oh. Cadenza? What should I... do? 
What's the right thing to do? We have two options. We can return the sun, save what's left of the world, and prevent Nico from ever going home, or we can shatter the light bulb, allow Nico to go back home, and doom the world and all of its inhabitants instantly. You have to pick one of these two. This is how the game ends. Now I won't I won't begrudge anybody for whatever option they choose. That's that's up to y'all. But for me personally, the entity said that Nico was the only thing worth saving. I disagree. We've met so many different people uh, during our journey to the tower, all with their own their own lives, their own hopes and dreams. They're all just trying to get by. If we shatter the light bulb, we will kill all of them and also everybody else on the in the world immediately. And that does not sit right with me. I don't like the idea of condemning Nico to be stranded in a world that's not theirs for the rest of their life, but I don't want to murder everybody else at the just to just to get them home. So, just like my first playthrough of this game, I'm going to return the sun. I'm sorry, Nico. You're right. I can't just leave everyone here to die. Thank you for your help, Cadenza. I promise I'll be okay. So, if we try to open the game again from this point, we, uh, can't do much. It just takes us back to here. But we're not done. Let me... Looks like you completed your mission in the world. 
and I understand. I know you wish to return, but the entity called itself One Shot for a reason. That restriction was implemented a long time ago. Removing it is impossible now. At least, for me. I do not know the full extent of your powers, so pardon me if this sounds foolish. But if you would be so kind to test something out for me. A log of your saved progress may exist somewhere on your machine. Maybe even in the same location as this journal you're reading now. If this saved progress log takes the form of a file, perhaps you can manipulate it. Try removing it from its current location. A simple deletion will do. Again, I apologize for not knowing the, the extent of your powers. If what I described confuses you, I'm sorry. Don't worry, mysterious author. I know exactly what you're talking about, and we will investigate this next time. I'll see you all then. Thanks for watching.